Welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed and I'm a Master CSSA here at Firewalls.com and in this video we're going to cover port forwarding on a sonic wall firewall. Now for this video we're going to walk you through three different examples. We're going to create NAT policies that will allow us to take our port 80 which is HTTP, port 21 which is used for FTP and port 25 which is SMTP and we're going to NAT those into three different unique servers sitting on the LAN side of our network while using just our single public IP address that's on the WAN side of the SonicWell firewall. Now to do this there's actually three different steps that we have to go through. First we're going to create a NAT policy and within that NAT policy we're going to have to create unique address objects for our network servers as well as the services and then finally we need to create the firewall policies to open up those ports and allow access. So for our first example we're going to open up port 80 which is the HTTP port to our web server on the LAN side of the network. Again we're going to use just the single public IP address but we're going to take its port 80 and map it through the firewall to our web server sitting on the LAN side of the network. Okay, let me show you how it's done. So for our first example, we're going to create the NAT policy to take port 80 from the public IP address and map it to our web server on the LAN side. So to begin, go to Network, NAT Policies, and select Add. Now for the NAT policy settings, for the original source, we're going to select any. So we're saying this is going to apply to any traffic that's originating from any address. Translated source, we're going to keep it at original. We don't want to change anybody's IP address. The original destination is going to be our WAN interface IP address, because we're just going to use that one public IP address. And translated destination, we need to go ahead and create a new address object. What we want to do is we want to create a unique address object for our web server in this case. So for the name we'll just call this web server. For the zone assignment, LAN because our web server is on the LAN. The type is a single host and we'll give it an IP address of 10.254.254.100 because that's the LAN IP of our web server. We select OK. So now so far we have translated our WAN primary IP address to the web server's LAN IP address. What we want to make sure is that we just do a specific service. So for the original service we're going to select HTTP and translated we're going to keep it at original. And for the inbound interface it's going to be X1 which is our WAN interface. Then finally we can drop in a comment and so now the NAT policy is complete. So again, just a quick review, we're going to take any traffic that's coming inbound on our X1 interface from anywhere and we're going to NAT the public IP address of our WAN interface to the web server's LAN interface, but we're only going to apply it to the HTTP service. So now we're just actually peeling off that port 80 from the public WAN IP and we're routing it into our web server's LAN IP. We select add and then close. Alright, so that's two of the three steps done. The last and final step is you have to create that firewall rule. So we want to go to firewall, access rules, and on the view style of matrix we're going to select from the WAN to the LAN we want to select add and the action is going to be allow and the service is going to be our HTTP service source is going to be any so it can be coming from anywhere and destination is going to be to our WAN IP address and then we select add and close so now we've created our NAT policy and we've created our firewall access rule to allow the port 80 from the public WAN IP to the LAN IP of our web server. Now let's go on to the next example. For our next example we're going to use the common port 21 which is for an FTP service. 
Again, we're going to use the same public IP address. We're going to take its port 21 and map it internally to our unique FTP server on the LAN side of the network. Okay, let's take a look. To create our net policy for FTP, we're going to follow the same procedure as the first time with the HTTP. So it's network, net policies, add, original source is going to be from anywhere. We're not going to translate that IP, so we want to keep it as original. Original destination is our WAN interface IP. Translated destination is going to be to a address object we need to create. We'll just call this our FTP server. Zone is on the LAN. It's a single host, and we'll give it its unique address. Select OK. Now for the original service, we want to select FTP. And we do not want to translate it. We want to keep it to the original FTP service. And our inbound interface will be the X1 for our WAN. We select Add, then Close. So again, the first two steps are done, Net Policy and Address Object. Our final step is to go to the Firewall, Access Rules. Under the Matrix Style, we want to go from WAN to LAN. We want to add a new Firewall rule. This time the service is going to be FTP, source from anywhere, and the destination is going to be our WAN interface IP. We'll select Add, then Close. For our final example, we're going to map port 25, which is an SMTP service for email. Again, we're going to use the same public IP address. We're going to take its port 25 and add it to our SMTP server sitting on the LAN side of our network. And let me show you how it's done. Okay, again, we're going to follow the same procedure that we did for the other two policies that we created. So we go Network, NAT Policies, Add, Original Source, Any, No Translated Source, Original Destination, our WAN interface IP, translated destination, we're going to create a new address object for our email server. It's on the LAN, it's a host, and we put in its host address, select OK. The original service, we're going to do SMTP, and for the translated service, we're just going to keep it at original, inbound interface on our X1 WAN, select add, then close. Okay, and for our final step, we're going to do our firewall access rule from the WAN to the LAN. We want to select Add, Service. It's going to be SMTP, Source, Any. And Destination is going to be to our WAN interface IP. We select Add and then Close. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments about the video or the topic, please just let us know in the comments section below and have a great day.